Hey everybody, the true RC is here and welcome back to some more Pokemon Omega Ruby Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last time, we went through route, what was it, 113? A fan favorite, full of ashes and stuff. And there, all we really found was a bunch of drift blims. But, there was one really amazing thing that we did happen to find while we were there. Which was the TM containing Dazzling Gleam. So, yeah. Screw going back for Draining Kiss. I'm gonna save my money on something I might need a little bit more down the line. Who knows? But yes, a powerful, special, fairy-type move that Oberon happened to be able to learn. So, wonderful. It'll go very well with your Pixelate ability, and I can't wait to test it out at the earliest possible convenience. But today... We're gonna try and see what's going on with that Professor Cosmo dude that May was going on about. Yeah, okay, um, this might be a good chance, Oberon, for you to show off that new ability. Let's see what we got. Who taught you to battle like that? I believe we did catch a new Pokemon in this route as well, but... Oh, you're two people, good. I don't even remember <laughs> what it was anymore. It wasn't that long ago. Okay, a fitting combo. Scyther and Badoo. Not the best thing in the world, actually, but no problem. No problem at all. Are you part poison yet, Badoo? Um, I would say let's find out, but... Oh, it hits both, so screw it. Let's find out. Whoa! Oh, that was a lot worse than I thought it would be. Curse... Oh, that's, that's insanely good, but... Yeah, not very effective on Badoo, which means you are part poison. And, yeah, it that takes effect too. Okay, Cursed Body means the move you use on it is disabled. So, shoot. And at this rate, we're not going to be able to take out anything here. And you can't use Bubble Beam anymore because it got disabled. So, uh, round? Let's get you the heck out of here, Oberon. Put in someone more well suited for this, like freaking Pyrope. Even though your fire type moves did get weakened, Pyrope, it's no big deal. You've got other moves in your arsenal. Yeah, Oberon nearly got wiped by that freaking Scyther, man. <laughs> I forgot how much of a physical attacker Scyther was, even without evolving. You know? And you'll stab, wing attack. No, your friend guard. <laughs> Okay, keep doing that. I will... I would say Flame Burst, but it is weakened. Sludge Wave won't be doing much. It hits everyone, including Glenn, so... Fine, I'll just... just I'll bite the bullet here and deal with the fact that... WHAT IN THE NAME OF ALL THAT IS HOLY IS WITH THIS SCYTHER?! Somebody explain it to me. Oh, and the Bursting Flame hit Scyther, but the Cursed Body didn't activate. That's convenient. That's very inconvenient. Exceptionally inconvenient. What am I gonna do? I'm, we're getting wrecked over here. I think I'm even... I was running at like 90% speed for a second. Frickle, we're gonna need you to clean house. And Nosferatu, you can provide backup. I guess double battles are just a little taxing on the CPU, which is weird, because I can typically run this game at, like, 300% speed, but there are some sections where it can't even hit 100 sometimes. It's weird. It's just that Citra is not optimized. Ha, sucker! It's been a while since we've gotten to use you, Frickle, so this is going to be satisfying. I know this is going to be overkill, but I don't care. This Scyther is nearly wrecking everyone in our team, so... Overkill is necessary. Yeah, you two? Make a formidable threat. <laughs> Considering how quite overpowered both of them are. This is gonna be quad. Good riddance. Also, level 23? Not bad at this point. <laughs> and there you go, Pyrope. Keeping up. What a fisherman you were. 
And as both of them say, what an amazing way of battling. Makes sense, he is only one person, so... That's why they both say the same thing. Alright, alright, alright. What are we gonna do? Glenn, Oberon, and Pyrope. I just wanted to test out that Dazzling Gleam, but that was not the way to do it. Not in a double battle. Because everyone knows moves that hit multiple opponents suck because then their power is halved. So unless they're, unless they're super effective, there's little point in doing it. Okay, I believe you're not a trainer. No, you're just gathering berries. And you'll give it to me, thanks. I hear a Pokemon. As if it matters. And a collector here. <laughs> Wanna battle against my Pokemon? Oh yeah, you're that creepy guy that Shago Conroy didn't like. And you also happen to be Wallace. Yeah, that creepy guy Shago <laughs> Conroy. No, it's the creepy guy I didn't like. Okay, nah. Yeah, the creepy guy was the one who replaced him in Emerald. But, anywho. Yeah. Furrow Seed? Is that how Furrow Seeds are supposed to be? Completely stagnant and in the ground a little bit? <laughs> I don't know. I forget. You're part steel, right? Well, you're also, you'd also be part something that resists it, so yeah, you're part steel. Not very effective. Bubbly beam. Yeah, that looks weird. I feel like it's not supposed to be in the ground like that. We may have run into a bit of a... a ROM error. Your speed is already too slow anyway, so it doesn't matter that I'm lowering it, but... One or two more of these, and you're out of here. Might as well just use Bubble Beam next time. Is that all you got, Metal Claw? Can you try anything different? No, you can't. I don't know why I'm bothering so much with uh, Glenn. I don't know if I even want to keep Glenn permanently, but... But my Pokemon... I might, because... I don't know, the ground and water coverage is... Nice. Yeah, I forgot. You're water ground, and not just water. If you got hit with a grass-type move, you would have been toast. I don't know why I kept you on that Badoo. Wait, I did keep you on that Badoo. And you did get hit by a grass-type move, and you didn't die. So, points, I guess. And what do we got? Oh, protein. I know who I might put that on, but... I don't know. Would that be necessary? I'm thinking of putting it on Oberon, but... Oh! That! You guys are... Where are you taking the professor? Let me know, I'll meet you there. Hey, wait up. <laughs> yeah, you can't leave your leader behind like that. <laughs> How interesting. And you... Ooh, he looked pretty close to at me there. There's so many water ground types. It's weird. Like, that's why I didn't think it was water or ground, because there's already, like, Swampert and Quagsire. There's just so many. Technically, there's, like, five or six, so I don't know, and counting pre-evolutions and stuff. Is that another Badoo? <laughs> well, whatever. I'm not going to risk dealing with that. Nekomata, you can come in here and wipe it with your Psy Shock. You and your Worry Seed. Oh no, I can't sleep! At least you give us a pretty good ability. I mean, it's it's just Gastro Acid, but gives them a good ability rather than giving them no ability. Hits them with a seed that makes them so anxious they can't sleep, and that their other ability is now void. Vanillish, vanillish. You're an Ice type, vanillish. Uh, um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Oberon's got something for that. Let's let's let him try. All right. People don't like you, Vanillish. I don't see why, but <laughs> not bad, man. Yeah, 
that was okay, too. Now let's just try to finish it off. Epic. <laughs> Putting that fairy type to good use. And you're now leading the pack. That's rare. Way too strong. Yeah, nice try, fairy kid. And, I, and Glenn can just stay in front forever. And a comet shard. Excellent. Those sell for a good amount, do they not? And, ooh, a rare bone. Those sell for a good amount, do they not? <laughs> Probably. And in the center of this one... Oh, nothing. Too predictable. Energy powder. Bitter, so forget that. I'm not gonna make any of my Pokemon hate me. So I was going for some kind of frustration build here. Hello. Yeah, make sure you have water handy. And it's me again. What is it this time, Bernie? And... You're a fire guy, and you also happen to have gotten a fire type. What are the freaking chances? Whoa, your your animation is so... That would get dizzy very fast. <laughs> Seriously. And down he goes. I like you, Chimchar, but not right now. And Cranidos. It's, it's, it's all Gen 4 all the time. Another thing we can take pretty easily with either Bubble Beam or Mud Shot. Yep. <laughs> Not bad. Thanks for dousing my fire, I guess. Literally. And next is probably going to be like a mountain climber, dude. Hey, who called it? Isn't that normally your theme? Oh, that's because you stayed. That's because you turned into a picnicker. You share the... Oh, get ready! <laughs> yeah. Best cry ever. Can't top that. They peaked right at Cricketune. It'd be ironic if I used round on you. You're a Pokemon who uses round a lot, Mustachio. Ooh! Ooh, again! Today is not your day, milady. Especially when you're killed in an ironic fashion. <laughs> okay, Tentacruel. Nekomata, you're getting a little low. I mean... Glenn's only one level behind you, so... Now's a good time for you to go in here and shock it. Make his brain melt. <laughs> Absolutely unstoppable. We've put together a good team. Hopefully we won't have to worry about any Reshiram situations happening again. Where we just start getting wiped. Da! Uh, thanks. Did you- did you give that to me? Cuz- UGH! You're one of them! You're one of the freaky ghosts who's given me the stuff! What the heck? This looks like a giant fossil. Like a- maybe like a sand dollar. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Yodelayhoo! Yodelayhoo! Yeah. You have to show Yodelayhoo! too, since it doesn't echo here. <laughs> well, whoa, it's a uh, secret base trainer. Lenny! <laughs> Not Lenny! Oh, Timpole. Uh, the other Gen 5 water type. Yeah, no one remembers you, Timpole. Oh! Wait, don't you always have soundproof? You maintained it? Well, lucky you. Because now I've got nothing that can touch you. And I've got nobody who can really use anything good against you, so... Nekomata, just come back in and... Annihilate. Okay, feel free. Mm-hmm. Not for long. 
And Shablamo. See what I mean? It's just... Why is Psyshock so good? <laughs> Yo lay -hoo. Okay, and now finally, we arrive at the cave. Meteor Falls. A counter to Gravity Falls. It's a spin-off. Okay, now we can catch one thing that is in here. Because this is a new area. What do we want to have? Who do we want to have up front? It doesn't really matter too much, I guess. Let's just have Glenn stay up front. And it is... That sounds bad. It's a Mareep. Well, okay. Okay, here's the thing about Mareep. You're an electric type. I have no coverage for electric anymore. That is valuable. Indeed, it certainly is. Because we've got nothing that can deal with water types. But... You know, Mareep is just... It's so overused, is the thing. And it would be another Gen 2, and... Uh, whatever. I'll catch it! But... Don't even need my strategy. Yep. Because it's a Mareep. Mareep have, has a high catch rate, but... Ah, uh, boy. I was hoping for something a little more off the wall. Something I've never used before. I've had an Ampharos in, like, Heart Gold or something. In, like, the Heart Gold one. Times encountered seven. Ha Wait, I've encountered this seven times? Oh, that's right. They were Mareep on Route 1. I... Or was it two? Whatever. Either way, it was the one where May was the first time. Okay. I'll let you guys think of a, a good name for this one. Uh, I'm gonna give it a stupid one until you guys can give me something better. You're Woolworth. Deal with it. <laughs> give me something better, guys. Okay. I know what's coming up. So... Um, do I only have... Okay, I have some super potions. I want to make use of those. You know, it occurs to me, I don't really have a lot in the way of physical attackers. <laughs> give everything to Oberon just because I want him to be as buffed out as possible. Frickle's pretty good at that. Oh. This is awkward. He's gonna... Oh! <laughs> give it up, you bozos! Let the professor go! Huh? Why would you say that? You're the one who told us to kidnap him. Mm, I guess you guys didn't get the memo. Oh, you came. Thanks, we've got to save Professor Cosmo from these people. There are two of them and two of us. Okay. I don't know what you're playing at, but I'll do it. Thanks, a mill. A mill. Ay -ya -ha 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 -ha. Isn't this amusing? Is it really your intention to oppose me, a Team Magma admin? Just the two of you? Well, I've opposed the Team Magma leader in the past, so this is a bit of a step down. <laughs> yeah, adults. It's my first time battling beside you, Carl. True. We've battled against each other before, but... With you even being their own leader. And they're... Me and a triathlete. This is getting too confusing. <laughs> and I like that she didn't change because the randomization isn't affecting that. You have a Vivillon? Okay. I can't handle the double bottles, but. Keeping you in against the Quilladon is asking for trouble there, Glenn. Let's send in anybody who would really be fine with this. Nekamata or Nosferatu. Let's go Nosferatu. You know what it dawns on me? That you can technically... If we get a ground type move on you, Nosferatu, you can, have, you can serve as ground coverage. And... Oh, wow, that was really bad, but... Uh... 
And ooh, geez, that was a crit, but Frickle can serve as water coverage, so we don't even necessarily need to have Glenn. But let's just get this thing out of town. Yeah, that was easy. You don't have to worry about Hex finishing us off because he got a crit. Night Slash! Oh my gosh! Forget Feign It never misses, but that 10 plus power, high crit ratio, you can't, can't match it. And now I know what I'm going to use on you, ya mask. Ya mask. You friggin' mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'll come in handy. And used it on you, thankfully. Did a lot less damage there. And you're friggin' toast. Doesn't stand a chance. And you learned Night Slash pretty early on there. Like 27? That's... Oh, oh. <laughs> and a Snorlax. I've dealt with your kind already. They don't scare me. Not really, but... Ekomata. I'll send you in just for your Psy Shock. You can target its physical defense stat, which I think is lower than its special, so... Dang it. Chip away. Smart move. Tell me you've got something else in there, May. <laughs> yeah, no kidding! Should've sent it out the first time! Jeez. That was not as much as anticipated. Can you stop missing? Oh, we had a light screen on. We did? Or did he have a light screen on? I would say we did. I just wasn't, I guess I wasn't paying attention, but. Imagining a Dragonite slamming a Snorlax. <laughs> you set that up way too late. I'm gonna steal your item. Oh. <laughs> I, I remember the last one had Flame Body. Oh, you didn't even have an item. Shoot. Oh, yeah. That is ridiculously fitting lore-wise. We just stole the red orb from a Team Magma admin. Well, they ain't gonna be using that anytime soon. Unexpected development! Our red orb was taken! <laughs> Maybe that's why she wanted us to do this. She just wanted to get the red orb from them for herself. <laughs> She's gonna take it from us. Lore-wise. Maybe she doesn't trust them to deliver it, and she wants us to do it. I don't know. There's a re- it, It's all connected to the red orb is why she did this. Downfall of Team Magma. Who's there? Oh dear. <laughs> the guy of Team Aqua. May sworn rival. <laughs> mm hmm. I've dealt with your kind too. Even Team Aqua is making an appearance. The odds do not appear to be in my favor. No. Your own leader turned against you. Why? You're surrounded! You're not in the position to make demands! Professor! And they seriously just let that happen. Mount Chimney, huh? <laughs> Archie, we'll go after those monsters. That's right, we're not letting them get away. Yer. I'm gonna do a pirate voice for him because Aqua. Oh, what's this? Got quite a fierce expression on you for such a wee little thing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying. The name's Archie. I am the leader of Team Aqua, a group that's working to return the world to a pristine state. And by that I mean, we're gonna go Noah's Ark on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys aren't involved in this game. 
Not as much. Oh, <laughs> oh bother. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on anymore with these people. I don't know what your deal is either. You're confusing me. Never mind those nuts. <laughs> Carl. Mm hmm. You do that. I don't know what you intend to do with him when you bring him there, but. Oh, I'm going to. Why? Why did I go too? <laughs> I needed to go that way, dang it. <laughs> ah, Professor! Thank the stars above. <laughs> mm hmm. Those nuts, God, you keep calling them nuts. Kind of seem like bad guys. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh. Well, thanks, Professor! That doesn't suck at all! <laughs> gotcha. Almost what I said. Well, what are we gonna do next, Carl? Eh, probably heading up to Mount Chimney. Oh, well, I already did that. Marvel, I was just freaking there! No, thanks. If you change your mind, you're the first in line. Do they expect me to do this before Mauville? Because that's impossible. <laughs> you can't. Because you need Rock Smash. And you can only use it after Mauville. What? May, I don't understand you. Did she heal my team? No. Well, you didn't heal me that time, did you, May? Fine, I'm going to go heal. And then I'm going to go back to the... To the, to the Meteor Falls. Well, I don't have to go back to Meteor Falls. I could just go to Mount Chimney. <laughs> I mean, I would only have to go through Meteor Falls if I wanted to get some items from there, but I don't think that's on the top of my agenda of things that I need to do at the New Mint Show. <laughs> Let's go to Mount Chimney. Here we are. The mountain to end all mountains. I don't know if that's true, but this is where we need to be. The camera car is ready to depart. Would you like to board it? You betcha. Please sit this way. And up we go. Not as cool of a cutscene as it was originally. Sorry. Like, you missed the whole thing where it transitions into being all ashy, and it was cool. But, uh-oh. Looks like Team Magma and Team Aqua are finally duking it out, huh? Pardon me, you. Oh. Yes, not. Pluge! I don't know. And they all just have a bunch of Poochianas for some reason. Get out of my blasted way, you scurvy Team Magma knaves! If you're doing scurvy, you gotta be doing a pirate voice. Or face a keel, Holland. Come on, man. You got you got a Poochiana? Should be a Mighty Anna or something. Alright. Just a few Magma grunts standing in the way of our encounter with the leader himself. Again. You're the news reporter. You're trying to document this? Interviewers, Grunt? Nice. Ah, ball toy, no big deal. Gonna go down with ease. Yep, what did that tell you? And next, Shinshino. Since level 26, level else is 27, so they're, they're, they're fine for now. Let's just stay and deal with this thing. <laughs> tail slap. It's like tail whip. But instead of just whipping it at him, you just straight up slap him with it. And that's a fun move. Ooh. I was about to say you're a fast one, Shinshino, but... 
Not fast enough, because we can dodge sound. You're singing mist. He covered his ears. I don't know. Ooh, 777. Seven, seven. Lucky, but not lucky enough. What do you mean I lost? You lost. Yeah, the ghost again! Aw, sweet. What? Thanks, ghost. Oh, it's a piece of cloyingly sweet chocolate. When consumed, it restores 20 HP to an injured Pokemon. It's a potion. It's just a candy potion, man. Hey, you. Where's your leader? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you. You're the one who tried to inter interrupt me. Tabitha at Meteor Falls. Uh, Tabitha. That's a girl's name. Really, 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 really. Yeah, I get it. Mmm, spooky. And, oh no, not the Ace Trainer again. Are you one of the ones that was teamed up with the other one when we were fighting Watson? I hope not. Uh, Relicanth isn't that bad. You ancient fossil freak. Uh, I don't know, maybe, uh... Maybe Mud Slap will be better. Or Mud Shot, I guess, I guess. Oh. Okay. Decent move for you to have, because you're part water, but... Yeah, that was much better. Because water doesn't resist ground. This will be neutral. The water does resist itself. A little overkill, but like I said before, no problems with that. And Armaldo. Hmm. That's kind of bad, actually. It's like bug rock. Bug rock. Hmm. Bug rock. What do I got that can beat a bug rock? Water, I guess. I mean... Frickle could use the experience. She's getting kind of close to a level up. Yeah, you know what I never knew for the longest time? That those things on the side of its head were its eyes. <laughs> I always thought the, the things in the center were the eyes. Oh, this is bringing back some bad flashbacks. You are definitely the same one that fought me with Watson there. You gotta be kidding me. Fine. Then it's up to you, Nekomata. You were the one who took him out before. You'll do it again. Yeah, Smackdown. I can't send you in on anything that uses Rock-type moves, you know? Frickle. I always forget that. I always forget that rock doesn't resist itself. It's kind of weird. Oh, shoot. Ooh, that was... This is definitely the same ace trainer from before. You know who wouldn't be a bad match? Oberon. Seriously. Like, does fighting resist bug? I don't know. My type effect in this chart in my brain isn't exactly up to date. It does, but that was still insane because he used it twice in a straight row. Wasn't bad. That was not bad at all. And I interrupted him, so does that mean the Fury Cutter no longer works? I can't tell. If he keeps stacking up that Fury Cutter like that, though... What are your moves? Man! Man! If you could just get off one rolling kick, I know you'd be able to beat him. I know you would. But... If he keeps cutting so furiously... They sent in their best assassin to try and take us out yet again. Why did you use that instead? Oh, because that's the chance to raise your attack. It's a good thing I swapped them, I guess. I know you resist this. What? No, you don't. You're part bug, so suck it. Should've done that from the start. Ooh, 
Wow, a lot of experience to go around there. Yet again? Yeah, you remember. You remember the last time we fought? Knew you would be strong. What a shame, though. The mirror we got from Professor Whoever is already in our boss's hands. Whoa, it... The frames dropped bad there. For whatever reason. Oh, man, I'm so low on items. I'm dangerously low. Oh, you said hunt you, because why not? I'm gonna have to use everything I got just to get everyone back up to where they need to be. Alright. I don't know why I always like to save before big battles like this. It doesn't really matter, but... I think we're ready to once again face off against our rival. Ooh, that's the TM down there. I can see it. Don't try and hide it from me. The power contained in the meteorites. If we merge the explosive energy contained within the planet's core with the meteorite's power. I remember those eyes. And the indomitable will that seems to burn behind them. Yes, you've encountered them quite a few times at this point. Ah, and I recall, you're the one who defied us at Slate Ports. Oceanic Museum. Also, of several other times, if you remember. In your presence here tells me you have defeated Tabitha. It wasn't that hard, I'll be honest. Well, well, okay. It was only that freaking last one at the end there, but yes, I know, I see now that the stirring of interest I felt was not misplaced. <laughs> you showed true promise. That's why you kept healing me all those times as well. Fine, I will attempt to educate you. Thousands of years ago, there lived the most powerful being that was said to be capable of creating new lands on the planet. The power which we and Team Magma seek. The power which can expand the available land mass belongs to a legendary and super ancient Pokemon. But now it slumbers, having lost the source of its power, and been trapped in a deep sleep. I happen to have something that might help with that, as a matter of fact. So what we must do to awaken the slumbering giant? Our research has led us here to Mount Chimney. Yes, here, it's this very meteorite. I think I already have in the bag what you need, even though I think it's the blue orb that wakes up Groudon, which makes no sense, but whatever. If we create the right conditions, we should find ourselves able to alter this meteorite's qualities. Yes, even to a mega stone. Are you referring to alchemy? Even to a, into a keystone, or a red stone, or a blue stone, or frickin' anything. A philosopher's stone, it doesn't matter. Here at Mount Chimney, I should not say too much. That is the end of today's lesson. Man, if you turn into May, I swear I'm gonna frickin' lose it. What, are the, what would even be the odds of that? I don't anticipate it. You're probably gonna turn into, like, a champion or anybody, I swear. I can't be that lucky. Now then, I believe it is time we begin. Time for the purge has come. Oh yes, the purge! That might be a little overboard there, wouldn't you say there, May? I do believe that I made myself quite clear when we were last in the Slayport. Yes, yes, one night, all crime legal. You made it very clear. I wanted you that any fool staying in that way would be met without mercy. I will bury you by my own hand. Alive. I hope you appreciate this honor. No freaking way! That's impossible! Insanity! I've no. They are the same person. I don't even know what to say. Hold on. Well, hold on. My my headphones and my controller got tangled up. All right then, Pokemon Trainer, Maxi. So now Gothita. I can't believe it, I can't, that's impossible. What were the freaking chances? I mean the fact that May turned into Maxi twice, both times we ran into her in a battle. And then we fight Maxi and she became May too. 
he became me. Freaking what? <laughs> this was... This was friggin' destiny, man. Pure and simple. Okay, Gothita is a psychic type. Something I fear Oberon would get wrecked by if, if we stayed in. Because your defenses are clearly insufficient for, for things like this. But I've got just the man for the job. Embargo. That sucks. I probably could have killed you if I just stayed in, but oh well. I mean, I didn't know you would use Embargo. I thought you'd pull out, like, Psychic or something. I don't know. Piplop! Okay. Okay, Oberon, you can take a little Piplop. It's no big deal. And here's what I want to know, though. Uh, does Fake Out work again? Because it's technically... Your animation is very similar to Chimchar's, where you're just kind of... Doing that motion, why did they... Were they just on a kick that day when they were modeling and animating the Gen 4 starters? <laughs> yes. Dazzling Gleam! Just a single combatant. Whoa, that was a... Oh, that was a crit! Come on, Oberon, you can do better than that. If it was super effective, and it surely would have killed it, but... <laughs> That'll do. Roundhouse kick. Now, how many more do you got? One? Maybe. Drapion. Ooh. Ooh, Drapion. The bug... Poison? Or is it... Dark Poison or something stupid like that? I don't know. In any case, Nekomata should probably be fine. Because I'm pretty sure Poison is in there somewhere. Wait! But if it's dark then your psychic moves won't work. Oh my gosh, and it's 27. And I'm pretty sure it's dark poison, which is really, really a bad matchup. Because we've got nothing that can handle that efficiently, but... Nosferatu, I'm going to trust you with this. I. Oh, no, 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 no. No, oh, no, come on, you can't do this to me! May! Try it again! See where it gets ya! Is that the best you got? Come on! Bring it! I'll have you down by the fifth rollout, I swear it! Maybe a, a second wave of them, but... Come on, if I can get the fifth one. Yeah, fifth one will do it! Fifth one will do it! Frickle, frickle, frickle! Frickle, 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 frickle! Avenged! You're the girl, Frickle. Avenged your fallen foe. The one who rescued you! From the Reshiram, all that time ago. You finally got me. You are quite capable. I fell behind, but only by an inch. You didn't go out unscathed. I mean, you didn't go... You brought me down with you, basically. Oh, man, Nekomata was so good! Oh, so you repulsed the great Mei in battle? <laughs> you never failed to entertain me. An excellent start. See, never fail. I've entertained you before. You're admitting it. This time, permit me to unleash my full strength. Once you've tasted my Pokemon's mega evolved power, you will say goodbye to your last shred of hope. Oh! You had one more Pokemon? Why didn't you just send it out before the battle was over? Holding back on me, May? Yes, it's me. Oh. Then it is Mount Pyre. 
I understand. I will come at once. I'm sorry to cut our battle short, which you already did by stopping it after I killed your Drapion. But I'm afraid I must excuse myself. Such rudeness demands reparation. Take this meteorite with my apologies. Seriously? Only because you don't need it anymore. Mm hmm. Many a time, but this time you took out Nekomata, you monster. Oh, hey, guys. Huh? If it ain't that little scamp. That was bad. But blast that, Maxi, just escaped us. Mm hmm. I have one of them. His bony backside. Boy, if you were here right now, I'd kick you right in your bony old behind. Okay. Well, before we call it a day, let's head down here and pick up that TM. It's incinerate. Not bad. That's a pretty good move, isn't it? I wonder who can learn it. It's gonna be Nekomata or something, no. What? Wow! It was probably already a fire-type move, that's why, but... If a Pokemon is holding a certain item such as a berry, the item becomes burned up and unusable. I think you already have a move that's better than that, though, so it doesn't really matter that we have it and only you can learn it, but... Yeah, it's better. So, yeah. Sorry, Incinerate, you suck and are not doing us any favors. But... If only I'd taken my chances with Nekomata staying in there. I should have just stayed in and used Dazzling Gleam or something, but... Well, Maxi was May. And will always- and always will be, apparently. So... Next time... We... We go to the gym, the next gym, I guess. But... Thank you for watching, like and comment if you enjoyed. I would appreciate that. Let me know what you guys think about the events of today's episode. Nekomata, may you rest in peace. You proved a valuable asset to the team. But in the end, you were defeated by May. You laid your life on the line. Oh, brave psychic cat. Yep, I don't think I said it, but subscribe if you haven't already. Be updated on more Pokemon, Omega Ruby, Randomizer, Nuzlocke. What an episode! But we'll see what awaits us next time. Until then, I will see you guys all later!